Good afternoon, Dr. Benedict and my fellow friend. Today, our group is going to present about the topic of issue in international banking during COVID-19 crisis. Through this presentation, we will point out some of the issue in international banking. We will talk about the resilience of international bank claims, the driver of foreign bank on a private non-financial sector. Throughout this presentation, we will examine the relationship on the characteristic of borrower and lender through the growth of claim on private financial sector. Based on our study, we have identified three characteristics of borrower country as it could make a significant difference on the growth of claim. The growth of claim might differ de depends on the country countermeasure of related party on the pandemic severity together with their policy responses and their pre-existing financial vulnerability. This characteristic might tell the cross country of difference in the borrower side component by comparing on a year on year growth of foreign claim on the private non-financial sector through the mid 2020. As we know that during this pandemic has caused severe impacts toward the world economy, especially toward the financial sector, this pandemic has forced a major economy into lockdown and directly affect the quarter one and quarter two report of all businesses. Besides, the world economy undercut output even more decreased sharply than during the year the global financial crisis in 2008. However, according to the international banking statistic, it states state that its strong policy response sought to contain the economy fallout thanks to a country with stronger economic activity and smaller financial vulnerability to borrow more to borrower. Likewise, a better capitalized banking system will lend more. The economy stress also led advanced economy borrower to draw on the pre-existing credit lines from foreign bank. Based on our research, cross-border banks claim that uh, on a financial and non-financial borrower combined, a grew of 4.8% through the quarter 2 2020. This has bring up a contrast with a 5.2% decline in the year end of 2008. Besides, a foreign, lo foreign bank local claims in local currency grew by 8.6% year on year through mid 2020, driven largely by quarter one claims on advanced economy central bank. That's all from my part. Now I'll pass it to Chong Ming. Okay. Thank you, Marcus. So I'm going to present the resilience of international bank claim. How do international banks survive during pandemic according to the questions? We compare year-on-year -year claim through to the mid of 2020. Overall, international bank claim proved to be frequently resilient when compared with the UFC. According to the auto, global cross-border claims and local claims in local currency has grew, which has the better result than in GFC. However, the global output in the mid of 2020 has dropped larger than in GFC as well. So, which means bank has a better result in resilience during uh, COVID-19 when compared with the GFC. This is because uh, with the high borrowing needs during COVID-19, what is the bank did is their capture of pandemic related response such as coordinating, raising central bank short line and the drop down of credit line. However, this would be the effect of international banking. According to the first slide, which show the cross-border bank claim in the quarter two of 2020, it is less likely to be subject to seasonality effect than quarter one. This because uh, the claim of AE borrower declined in quarter two. This reason was driven by the claim of bank street broadly 60 to 40 uh, between related and unrelated institutions and to a lesser extent of non-bank financial borrower. The larger quarter two decline in inter-office origin related banks came up the heels of an even bigger increase in quarter one. Both moves reflect in the part the use of AE central bank short line. More generally, swing in interbank claim are consistent with adjustment for liquidity management purpose, which need not underpin new lending to the real economy. Furthermore, for EME cross-border bank claim decline in the quarter two, this because the claim on unrelated bank and central bank explained over two thirds of this decline. And also because of the claim of non-financial entity increase. The non-financial sectors include a private component, it lending to which may support consumption and real investment, while a public component is lending to which may also support real economic activity through fiscal spending or guarantees. Based on the 
graph three, you can see that the local claim of Orange Bank also hit up in quarter two, 2020. AE borrowers are facing a large increase in quarter one. This was uh, mainly due to unconventional monetary policies in AE. Turning to the samples of the borrowers, EMEs, Forest Bank local claims show an increase in quarter one and a decrease in quarter two. This is because the claim of central bank shrunk less in this uh, country, reflecting their more limited use of unconventional measures. Moving on, local claim of the lot non financial sectors was sustained in the first month of the pandemic. According to the graph, uh, we knew that the strongest post GFC balance sheet has a lot bank to mitigate the pandemic short and shall not financial borrower to a significant extent. Thank you. I'm going to pass to uh, Shiming. Okay, now I will talk about drivers of foreign banks claim on the private non-financial sector. Characteristic of borrowers or, or lenders can help explain in a change in claims only to the extent that this change can be attributed to the respective counterparty. It really on a methodology that delivers a specific attribution, decomposing claims flow into three mutually exclusive parts. First is a borrower country and it is specific component. Second is lending banking system and it is spe specific component also. Third is a common component. The first two component capture the extent to which a country stand out relative to other borrowers and the extent to which a lender stand out relative to other banking system. And the component, a common component uniform across both lenders and borrowers and cannot be attributed. Both borrower and lender side uh, component may reflect borrowing country and lending banking system characteristic that influence claim growth. Generally, they don't have uh, to be exactly correspond for demand and supply factors. For example, government guarantee in a borrowing country can support credit supply by reducing risk to the lender. Another example is any pre-existing credit lines of a banking system may accommodate credit demand in borrowing countries. That's all for, for my part. My next, I will pass to my teammate, Hui Wen. It is crucial to understand the re relationship between the characteristic of borrowers and lenders. Therefore, the bank is also a lender who expect borrowers to capture pre-existing financial vulnerabilities. COVID severity measures, pol policy response and credit commitment. Policy response to the pandemic have strong relationships. Public health measure have a negative correlation with the borrower component, which means stricter lockdown impact on economic activity to result in the decline of claim growth. Economic policies such as fiscal support measure are positively correlated with the borrower side component, which means they support borrower credit worthiness. All these are positively related with the borrower side component, which indicates the GDP growth and forecast of future growth. For the lender side, there are three aspects which are bank capitalization, credit commitment, extend, better capitalization banking system with greater credit commitment. Even though the bank still be able to sustain, but there is a huge decline in quarter two 2020, which with weaker profit, foreign claim on private non-financial sectors has significant differences across banking system. This in indicates that this relates to the characteristic of lending banking system at a national level, such as banking capitalization and credit commitment. Claim growth indicates a positive relationship with bank capitalization with credit commitment. Lender side component is higher for banking system featuring high risk-based capital ratio or what we call as leverage ratio. Banking system with greater credit commitment lend more on mid-2020. Apparently, international bank claim performed well in COVID-19 pandemic as compared to GFC. The bank has played its role to defense against the crisis by providing credit to borrowers in this difficult time. Cross-border and local claim across AE and ENE will remain resilient. Same goes to the 
private non-financial sector, closely capturing direct lending to real economy. The driver of foreign bank claim consists of borrower sector factors and lender side factors. The borrower side component are highly related to low vulnerabilities and strong economic activity in borrower country, while the lender side component is highly related to better capitalization in lending banking system. Because of the size of pre-existing credit line, the bank able to accommodate the large amount of credit line that is being drawn down and the funding is needed for the borrower. Therefore, the bank able to sustain in this difficult time. Although the international bank lending were doing good in countermeasure during the first phase of pandemic, but the bank always have to have a precaution of the potential risk might be arise. For example, there's a decline in output in the second wave. Therefore, it is crucial for the bank to continue monitoring so that they manage to take action immediately before it is too late. Thank you.